on a normal day Keralites sip tea and discuss Marx Engels in Congress which normally leads to pitched ideological warfare and then there are days when the malady drops the ideology bone and rallies around a humanitarian cause like this week. Ukraine versus Russia, Israel versus Palestine, the Houthis versus Saudis or even the recent diplomatic tiff between Canada and India all concern the Keralites much more than any other Indian. Quite natural because uh, Keralites are spread all over the world barring a handful of nations. Keralites working in 182 of 195 countries in the world reported the Times of India quoting the state government entity Norka Roots. From those distant corners of the world, Keralites discuss and debate Charles Darwin and Chat GPT, Malthus, Marx and Migration and whether the left front or the Congress will be their savior or is the lesser evil. But every now and then there are events that bring out the depth of humanity in Kerala. Like in the massive floods of 2018 when the fishermen in the state provided the inspiration and took the lead in the rescue operations which are now part of Kerala's 21st century history. Such an outpouring of love and compassion was on display again this week when a family in Todupura lost 13 of its 22 cattle. Apparently owing to poisoning when the cows were fed tapioca hull. The centerpiece of that heart-rending and later heart-warming story is a 15-year-old schoolboy, Matthew Benny, who was taking care of his family dairy farm with help from his mother, elder brother and younger sister after his father passed away two years ago. Imagine the shock of the family when 13 of their cows collapsed and died one by one. The scale of the tragedy so shocked the family that Matthew, his mother and sister had to be briefly hospitalized. As the news broke, the famed Malayali love button was triggered and help started pouring in from all over, from the family's locality Thodupura to distant Abu Dhabi. The list of early birds who chipped in to help went like this. Actor Jairam, 500,000 rupees. The Lulu group Abu Dhabi, 500,000 rupees. Actor Prithviraj, 200,000 rupees. Actor Mamuti, 100,000 rupees. And there were more. The Kerala government offered five cows and a month's feed. The CPM gave two cows. The local MLA PJ Joseph gave a gear breed cow and there were many more chipping in with smaller amounts, immersing the family neck deep in empathy. There was even an entrance coaching center, brilliant study center, offering Matthew Benny two years of free coaching. Perhaps these are the qualities of Keralites that influence even civil service officers from outside the state to continue and settle down in Kerala even after their careers. Like former state police chief Loknath Bera, who told the Indian Express, Kerala as good as the West, so I decided to stay put. Some years ago, former Supreme Court Judge Markande Kaju wrote, Thinking rationally, I believe that the real Indians are the Keralites because they have in them the quintessential qualities of Indians. So to live united and in harmony, we must respect every group of people. In my opinion, the Keralites do this the best, and therefore they are symbolic and represent the whole of India. True, Kerala is going through some really tough times. The state government is so financially starved, it is struggling to pay welfare pensions. And then there are social, emotional and economic pressures for the people. A massive out-migration and even some reverse remittance. But oodles of altruism, empathy and compassion for fellow human beings can be an effective balm while traversing through difficult times. Think about it. Even if one wanted to donate a cow, in how many states of India today can we transport a cow without risking one's very life? Matthew Benny's family owes its good fortune to Kerala's covenant of love. While on the topic of charity and empathy, let me leave you with an example from the south of the state which underlines the humane nature of Keralites that spans the social spectrum from a billionaire like M.A. Yusuf Ali to ordinary people who make just enough for a living. At Alampidiga Junction in Kollam stands a cupboard full of meal packets, a range of snacks and water. The cupboard has no keys and its contents are easily accessible to the needy. Branded Bhakshana Alamara or food cupboard, the concept is an initiative of the local auto rickshaw and taxi drivers, begun in 2021 and going strong with contributions from nearby homes, a few sponsors and the drivers themselves, which keep the cupboard always full. Anyone in need can simply open the cupboard and consume what they require. It was Mahatma Gandhi who said, Where there is love, 
there is life